I can tell you very simply the source of pain for most people joining online businesses today. Most of us have been continually bombarded with promises of easy riches online, and we've bought into them, usually with some reservations, but underlying that, a genuine feeling of hope that they would really work. Unfortunately, few of them have. And you're left with that feeling that you are foolish for being too gullible or the sense of hopelessness that you'll never find a real solution. So how can I ask you to believe me when I say I have a solution? An online business that really does work. It's simple. I'm not going to ask you to believe me. I'll let you decide for yourself. With that, I present to you an invitation. It's an invitation to dream. I'm going to ask you to push aside any skepticism, at least for the next few minutes. I'm going to share with you a story about a man who has skin, bones, blood, hands and well, pretty much the same collection of things that make you human. His name is John Chow. He was somebody that once had a lingering idea in his mind, a wistful hope that poverty and being stuck in a rat race didn't have to eat away the precious years of his life. So he took up an online opportunity he came across in September 2012. You'll see a milestone for him. He's about to pick up a new car that he earned when he reached a level in a business called My Online Business Empire, or as we like to call it, MOB. Another name, Matt, that's Matt Lloyd. He's the company founder, who you may hear John refer to with a certain degree of fondness. Remember, this isn't about John Chow, Matt Lloyd, or the car. It's about you. This is pretty much it. It's a realization of a dream right there. I mean, you know, something that I dreamed about. It's something I always wanted. You know, I visualized it. And to see it finally happen. I mean, just the smile on my face is just, you know, year to year grin. Year to year. <laughs> so uh, we went to this uh, Mercedes Benz dealership, Fletcher Jones uh, Mercedes uh, Benz. It's the biggest Mercedes Benz dealership in the world, well, by volume anyway. And uh, I could choose any car I want from the dealership. And uh, in my case, the only Mercedes Benz dealership that I want is the one my wife wants. And it's an SL550 because it is my wife's dream car. She's always dreamed of owning this thing. And the ability to just give this to her, I mean, <laughs> No, no words can describe it, really. <laughs> and I could have done this a long, long time ago, but I have personally have a problem well, it's because I come from a financial planning background. I am a, I am a fully qualified financial planner. Yeah. And, and it's because of my financial planning background, I have a personal problem with spending over $100,000 on a sports car, on anything. It just, especially when it's a depreciating asset, I have a problem with that, right? And when Matt finally contacted me and said, basically, because of my achievement in Mo, I qualify for a new Mercedes and he was going to pay for it. And I said, right there, I go, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm finally going to realize something on my bucket list and I don't have to pay for it. I got, this, I got the uh, perfect sense of how great this car was when we drive home, because it uh, drive home is evening, it's uh, getting kind of cool, so we took, we, we took the top down. And that air scar, the, the car has a has an air vent behind the headrest and it blows hot air on your neck so we're driving down it's a cool night and we combine it with the hot air blowing across your neck and it was beautiful like, at first i thought it was a silly option but <laughs> it's indispensable i love it i love it and she loves it too she, and we turn on the heated seat turn on the air scar you know like only 64 degrees outside we were nice and toasty warm top down moon lights out fantastic so a lot of people have been asking me how i got this car and the truth of the matter is i didn't have to do anything special. Uh, Matt just called me up uh, one day and said, John, he go, you got a car? And I go, what? He go, yeah, I, I'm putting on a new program called the Mo Merc, and all you gotta do is get five license rights here to qualify to get a Mercedes Benz, and you did, so I'm getting you a Benz. So, totally amazing. I didn't have to do anything extra, and I just got the car. Now, because you gotta wonder, you gotta wonder, you know, like, what kind of company who's already 
doing so much for the licensee, suddenly we just kick it up a notch again and says, I'm gonna get my licensee a car. So that's one of the reasons I love Mo. I first met Matt at a, a mastermind in San Diego. It was called Think Tank. And that's the first time I met him. And it was, it was a, a group of about 30 people getting together, all internet marketers, all successful people. And that's when I first met Matt. And then that's when he first showed me his business called Mo. And I got it right away because you know, I'm an internet marketer myself. So I, I, understood, I understood the advantages here and I understood what he was trying to do with it. And right there and there, I decided that I am going to get involved with this. Mobile is set up in such a way where any customer I refer to them, I get the customer for life. Unlike a typical affiliate program where if I refer someone to a product and then I get my commission, 50%, 40%, whatever it is, but then that's it. The advertiser now, has, now owns that customer and they will then sell to that customer over and over again. I don't get any of that. Right? But with Mo, any person or any customer I refer to Mo, I get them for life. The thing about Matt, is he really cares about his lesson C's. He's always thinking about what can I do to make it better for them. And an example of this is the Mo Mercedes, the Mo Mercedes program. I mean, who would have thought that I would be able to get a Mercedes from just being a licensee? Right. And I'm sure the stuff like, stuff like the Mercedes, stuff like the event that Matt's putting on where he's not making any money from it. The event is coming up in San Diego just for the licensee, no pitching, no nothing pure content. I mean, most, uh, most affiliate networks or most of the uh, owners of affiliate product don't do this kind of stuff. And it's because Matt does this for his licensee. He creates tremendous loyalty and this is why he's, well, that's, that's why he's successful. Well, I'm one of the biggest market, internet marketers in the world. Uh, I've been extremely successful. I've been in uh, internet marketing. I've been doing it full time since 1998. Got into blogging in 2005. Been one of the biggest blogs in the world. And through it all, you know, I learned a lot of valuable lessons. I spent a lot of money and made a lot of money and invested a lot of money. I also lost a lot of money. And when you, when you compare this to what I'm doing now with Mo, you know, had Mo been around back when I first started, uh, it would have been a lot easier. Because back then I had to create my, own, create my own product, create my own sales page, create my own landing, create my own sales funnel, uh, recruit my own affiliates to do all that kind of stuff. Uh, the amount of time then it takes to learn that stuff, the amount of money it takes to create that kind of stuff. And you can have all of it for the cost of a mobile license. I mean, it is for, the, for someone looking to make money online, one looking for the ultimate way to do it. This uh, mobile is a great way to do it. Mobile is the way to do it. And I'll tell you why. First of all, 90% commission on the front end. So you're getting 90% of the money. Look at a typical business that costs a good, that's like saying your cost of goods sold is 10%, 90% of your profit. So it's practically, it's practically your product. And then you don't lose the customer. You refer a customer, that customer is yours for life. The sales team will phone them, will phone them up and sell them stuff. Right? So and you get half of that. So you have your own phone team. Imagine how much that costs to set up. So your own phone team working for you to get you sale. You, all you gotta do is just drive the leads, refer the leads to the phone team, and let them do the rest. The My Online Business Empire Mercedes, or Mobe Merc for short, is available to all Mobe licensees who have made at least five license rights sales. Once you make five license rights sales, you can get a Mercedes. People look at my blog now, they figure, you know, this is how it's always been. The truth of the matter is, I came from a very humble background. I didn't come from money. I said, I was born and raised in mainland China. I live, I live in a small farming village since until I was seven years old. My, uh, the house I grew up in had no electricity. It had no running water. We got it, we got it to water up a well. Uh, it had no stove, and I had no idea what a microwave was. Right, so I didn't come from money. And my family immigrated to Vancouver when I was seven years old. And I grew up in the downtown east side, which is equivalent to like East LA or the Bronx. It was, it was the poorest neighborhood in Canada. So, and I was a latchkey kid growing up, you know. Uh, both my parents have to work to make ends meet. And I, I had a little brother I had to take care of. So I didn't came for money and uh, I grew up in a school of hard knocks. You know, like um, I, didn't get, I didn't go to the best school. It was an inner city school. Uh, I said I was a latchkey kid. But I tell you one thing. You know, 
The reason I am successful is because I listened to my dad. See, my dad said that, you know, one of the, he sacrificed and he sacrificed everything to, you know, to, to bring me to a new country to live. And he says, you know, in, in, the, in this new country, you can be anything you want to be. Right? And I was just stupid enough to believe him. <laughs> and I'm typical of an Asian parents. <laughs> yeah, he said, in this country, you can be anything you want to be. And of course, he wanted me to be a doctor. <laughs> typical Asian parent always wants the kids to be a doctor. <laughs> but I was just stupid enough to believe him. You know, and uh, so growing up, I was always, I was always told that, uh, you know, you came from a country where people are oppressed. It was a communist country. But now you're in a country where you can be whatever you want to be. And I just took that to heart. And so you can, when you look at a situation, you know, you can look at it in two ways. You can either see a problem or you see an opportunity. You know, growing up, I saw nothing but opportunity. You know, some would say my childhood kind of sucked because, you know, I grew up in such a poor environment. And, you know, downtown Yisai is the biggest uh, concentration of HIV-infected people and drug users in the world. Right? So some people say my life sucked. But actually, all I saw was opportunity because uh, even, though, the down, even though my thank you for the poor neighborhood I grew up in was very bad by average standards, it was still better than life in China because I actually have a toilet that actually flush. In China, we are an outhouse. You do your business, you push it away. Right? So when an opportunity comes along, I don't look, I, I, don't, I don't see anything as a problem. I see everything as an opportunity. And that's how you should see something. You know, you don't have problems. All you have is opportunity. Before I, before I discovered the internet, I had a regular bricks and mortars business. And so that went, that meant six days a week, 12 hour days. It was a lot of hard work, just a lot of hard, a lot of long hours. And uh, it's, I would never, I wish that on my worst enemy, I never do it again. But uh, now it's the opposite, you know, like uh, thanks to people like Matt and thanks to affiliate marketing, I've been able to reverse it and make more money by working less and less. You're in business, you know, you're waiting for a customer to come for the door, sometimes they don't, so you, and you got bills to, and you got bills to play, you got rent coming up. So yeah, there was a lot of stress. I, mean, I just feel like a failure, you know? You get to the point where you got, and you're asking yourself, how come this is happening to me? You know, like, why can't I succeed at this? You just, and, and that's the one of the worst feelings in the world, you know, like to, 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 to fail. You know, but I did learn, at least I learned from it, you know, and then and it took me a while to figure out that you, you cannot be afraid to fail, right? because that's how you learn. That's how you learn. I mean, so I fail, and I failed miserably, you know, because uh, the business uh, wasn't making any money. Well, it didn't make enough money for me to live on. Right? But it also allowed me to rethink rethink everything because I discovered that you know there has to be a better way so that's when I started looking I went looking for better ways so in in a way that business my first business is actually a blessing because without it I wouldn't have discovered the internet and I wouldn't have discovered remote you know like my daughter is the most important thing in my life to me and I want to make sure that she has a better life than what I did what I had so and I'm lucky in that I've been able to provide for her uh, an environment, a family environment. Like she's grown up with both parents in the house. Like, uh, and I realize a lot of households, the husband, both the husband and wife work, and you know, daycare, raising our children. Right? And I've been lucky in the sense that she has grown up with both parents, and to her, she thinks that's normal. And she, when she talks to other kids in the school, and find out that you know, their parents are not home, and she's wondering, she doesn't understand that. She doesn't understand that, and it's something that uh, is unique, and I want to do it, and it's something unique that I provide for her, so. So that was his story. Now, what's your story? I invite you to take the same action that John took that led to this life-altering experience. He took action. 
an opportunity knocks, asks if you will take up the offer. Are you ready to make your dream a reality? If that's what you want, then join my online business empire right now. If you're already involved, it's time for you to take the next step to take action in getting to the next level in your business. Take action now. Experience your dream to become your everyday life.